Patrick Queen just became my favorite Pittsburgh Steeler of all time. Move over, Debo Harrison. G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. Firstly, no, it's not a Kenny Pickett video. I did enough, one, two, three in a row, live stream, trade, uh, talking about him a lot. No Kenny Pickett video. We're talking about Patrick Queen and he's calling out, he's calling out the fans, not calling out Pittsburgh fans, he's calling out Ravens fans. I find this so enjoyable. This is, this is awesome. Uh, Patrick Queen here on Twitter. He says, honestly, bruh, uh, by the way, too, every time it says y'all, because I can't say that because I'm not American, I'm like an Australian dude, I won't say y'all, I'll say something else. Uh, he says here, honestly, uh, bro, bruh, you guys can shut the F, you know what, All right? He's telling fan base, the Raven fan base, to shut up, which is fantastic. So Queen got picked up by us. Three-year contract, $30 million, middle linebacker, played for the Ravens for four years, 25-year-old, and now, I guess, around the Twitterverse in, in Ravens land or around, you know, Ravens bars or whatnot in Baltimore, are pretty pissed off at Queen because he's going to the Steelers because of the, the rival between us, the Steelers, and those blokes uh, who were the Dirty Purple, right? The thing is, though, too, in recent history... Besides the one game that Mitchell Trubisky pretty much lost for us with those three picks, the Steelers have beaten the Ravens seven times out of eight. So is there really a rival at the moment? Well, I don't I don't think so. Like they got Lamar Jackson. We now have uh Justin Fields and Russell Wilson. And Russell Wilson looks to be the starter coming into next year. We'll play them twice. And we we have, I think, maybe a better defense with what They've now Queen, uh, Minka, right, JPJ. So maybe a better run game too. So is there really a competition between both teams? Now, both sides, yes, they play hard. They play physical football. They win games by three, four, five points. Sometimes even, you know, last-minute field goal. But this is awesome. I love this. So Patrick Queen says here, honestly, bro, uh, you can't make this stuff up. No, so you can't. No, you can shut the F up now. It's not even that deep for us players until game week. And you can't understand the fact it wasn't up to me. I gave, see, I'll try and do it. Y'all gave y'all everything. I had now when it's time for me to do what I need. Y'all heard about everything I say. Right. So pretty much it's just calling out Ravens fans. So I'm, I'm absolutely butchering that. What he's calling out Ravens fans who are whiny, pissed off, upset. Oh, no, my favorite player is going to another team. Oh, you can't go. You can't go to the Pittsburgh Steelers, not the black and gold. Right? Very annoyed about that. Very frustrated about their player, Queen, getting signed by us, the better organization. And he's telling them to shut the F up. And I can't swear on YouTube. He says here, go touch some grass. Fill the void in your life. To ones, uh, two ones still showing love, even on the switch. This is not to y'all. He said y'all one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven times. I rarely ever say that word in my in my life. I say mate, blokes, how he's going, stuff like that. All kind of Australia stuff. So I, I think it's fantastic because I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see this bloke on the field that he, that is in week one in training camp. That isn't in preseason and play, you know, limited reps, but get a customized to the defense with TJ Highsmith, uh, no, uh, uh, Nick Herbig in there too, all these kind of dudes on the defense. And he's going to actually like this stuff will fire him up if, if, if he even needs that. It will fire him up to go and beat the Ravens, to go and beat the Bengals, to go and be one of the best teams and one of the best players um, inside that division. So I, I think it's awesome. He's now one of my new favorite players. Lastly, too, before I end the video, I want to bring this up as well because we just, I still cannot get over this. And he also retweeted this Russell Wilson and Jay Fields, Lord have mercy. How else do you describe it? Six days ago, it was Kenny Pickett. And now the Pittsburgh Steelers have Russell Wilson, QB number one, and also Justin Fields for a trade. And they got rid of Deontay, they got rid of Kenny Pickett. It's absolutely crazy. Anyways, guys, if you want more conversation about that, I'll be going live in about an hour's time. 
with my mate um, Zaya and the Steelers. He's got a YouTube channel as well. So I'll link his channel in this video and I'll link his channel in the next video talking live. We have to cover pretty much everything that is Steelers live recap of pretty much like the last week. This has been one of the wildest weeks in Pittsburgh Steelers history. History. It has to be. I know there's a lot of history going all the way back to the 70s, but this is crazy. Never did I think that Russell Wilson, who played for the Seahawks now Denver, and also Justin Fields, who was a Bears quarterback, and now Omar Khan is absolutely fleecing the Bears again for a six-round pick. And we've got Queen on the roster. We've got a good punter. Things are moving. Things are going good. I know we haven't won yet. Got to kind of hype down a little bit. Haven't won yet. But it's a lot of fun being March 18th, and we're still the draft is next month. I haven't even really talked about the draft that much because there's been that much news happening around the free agent period and everything else. But when you see stuff like this with Wilson and you, let's get it, the QB room, you see Patrick Queen getting fired up, all these kind of things, man. It, it's it's very exciting right now to be a Steelers fan as my microphone goes off. That's my cue to get out of here. I'll see you later.